Hello, this is Samadan, and we are on an adventure in Minecraft. We have our crops behind us, a dolphin swimming, and we have all over here our lands, which is what I've now coined Samadan land, which is this whole little area of islands over here. Now today, we're going to build a castle at the top of this hill. Right, okay, so we've got the we've cleared out the main parts of our inventory. We want to we need some building materials for over here. So I have a chest over this way with a whole load of stone from when we quarried down here. So the key here would be to grab this cobblestone. Uh, we've got a little bit of andesite as well, so we could mix things up. Dirt might be useful and a bit of sand. Let's just grab all of it. These are our building blocks, as it were. Now I've got my spruce trees over there that I planted. We need to go and sort those out. Whilst we carry on a little bit of Minecraft with Dodger in the corner. Um, he's accompanying us tonight. I, oh, I actually have quite a lot of stairs here, which is going to be useful. What we'll do is we'll make some cra crafting table and some chests over here. Because this is going to be our staging area. We'll go and grab that wood in a little while. I'll just make some chests and things over there. We did make a pen. We have yet to go and get some cows to fill it. Uh, they will be coming over here at, at some point in the future. Uh, so how does Minecraft work? It's very much creative. You can do what you like. Have a sleep first. So we are playing in survival mode. So all the resources and things that we want to use to build things, we have to go and dig and collect ourselves or create farms and things to be able to automatically create them. At the moment, we are... At the very, very early stages, I'm going to just sleep for the night, reset everything then. So the aim of the game, if you are playing in it in survival, is to, you can make your way all the way to the end, where there's an end dragon which you can defeat. But that is by no means the end of the game. The end of the game is really only limited by your imagination. There's so much you can do. And you can do all sorts of things with Minecraft. With uh, redstone, you can make automatic... Um, Pistons and things that uh, are automatic farms. There's so much depth uh, to the game. Right, this should be nicely lit up now, come night time. So that will just help me when it comes to night time. What I am going to do is we've got to work out a way up here. Now I was thinking of a spiral staircase type situation, would be quite nice. And how I'm going to build that is a different question. So what I'm going to do is pop the chest down here and put in all my blocks and things that we currently have. And then we'll make ourselves a crafting table for next to this. And then we'll make ourselves a furnace in case we want to do any fancy work with the cobblestone because we can turn the cobblestone into I believe it's into regular stone in the furnace I believe let me just check see if that works so that cobblestone turns back into stone so that's a slightly different looking block when you place it down and you can make different stone you can make stone bricks and all sorts of different textured items which makes it quite interesting to um, when you're looking for stuff that looks different. Getting a bit of variety into your build is always useful. So with our spruces over here, let's go back and uh, collect those up. Right, so these spruces, I'd like to get some extra saplings out of these because if I get these and take out all the wood, then we should be able to at least, the trees will slowly disintegrate and we can replant them and use the saplings from there to get ourselves another set and with these being spruces you can actually put four of them in one area and they'll turn into a giant spruce which is really cool so let's just clear this out a little bit if we make if we plant our saplings so one two three four then one, two, three, four. So how many have you got there? One, two, three, four, five, and then another two there. Should hopefully give us a nice big 
wall of trees that we can then cut down. That's the theory anyway. So with that in place, torches all around here, that's good. Let's put one down there just to give ourselves a little bit more light and the same there as well. Okay, so next part of the project, with our wood we can turn that into planks and we can use the planks to work out a route and a scaffold around this area. So we'll, we'll use wood as our, our planning base and then move on from that. I could ideally, the sun's setting, you know what would be easier is if I get my bed and I move it over to where we're working. That way we don't have to worry about all running all the way back and then we don't have to worry about monsters spawning at night time as well. Right, so we're gonna make, we're doing, we're gonna make a castle is our plan for today. So with our spruce logs, we'll turn those into spruce planks. There's a few, not a huge amount, but that should at least get us started. In our chest, we have mainly dirt and things like that. So we'll start with a spruce. So the way I'm going to want this, I'm gonna start slightly higher up. I want to plan my route upwards and around in a court, around in a loop. So let's say we started here, for example. Then we go up one there. Then it's going to have to go. It does go up quite steeply. So we're going to use one block upwards each time. Right now, this is where it gets tricky because we're going to use crouch so I don't fall over. So we're going to go around, around the edge and up is the route we're going to go here. Take ourselves up slightly here at the same time. I think a bridge across here would be nice in a way. Just want to make that a little bit wider. And then I'm going to go around from here I think. Uh, then we're going to hit that so we're going to have to go around that way. Let's pop a one down there and then this can go around this way. Ah, then we've got something above us. Let's just clear that out of the way. Uh, why am I putting down spruce? Because we are basically just making a framework for our steps. I'm kind of trying to work out the best way round and this gives me just an idea as to what I can put down and then I can build my steps on top of here. We are working our way upwards and upwards with our staircase to the top. I could do with probably some fence posts on the side. That might work for a future build on this. But for now we're just going to work our way around and around like so. Uh, I'm gonna keep that there. Now this goes across. So let's bring this up and around. Uh, let's do that two that way. And now we can see our house from here. We've got a full 360 around. That's amazing. We want to have a bit of space on the top here, I guess. Um, as this is all sand, that's the last of my spruce as well. And we've just made it to the top roughly. Now this isn't the most solid of materials to be using, sand, um, because it can be a bit precarious. That's sandstone, I believe, over there. So we're gonna work our way around. So I'm probably gonna need, I think some kind of fence post or something like that would be useful at this point. But this is the view we will eventually have. As you can see, that's all the cobblestone that I built there. Let's actually, we can probably get rid of that now because that's slightly ugly because we put that as a temporary pillar to get ourselves up here. And now we have our wooden area. We can cut all this down again and come back. Okay, so stage one done. That was our stairway going all the way around. Now what I would like, I'm thinking either cobblestone steps or we could use actual stone steps. We can make those. 
we'd have to make stone first and then make the stone into stone steps because uh, we have the cobblestone stairs like this. Stone and brick stairs is another stair option we have. So in terms of what we can make here, our stairs could look like that, they could look like that, or they could look like that. So they're just texture difference. So our sandstone stairs option will look like that, which will definitely would blend in uh, to this option. But I do want this to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna go with what I have at the moment, which is the cobblestone stairs and see how that looks first and foremost, and then we'll take it from there. And the last step for now, right, let's run back down, back to our bed. We're probably gonna to have to move our bed higher up. That's a very dangerous corner there. So I'm gonna need definitely some kind of fence posts to hem this in and some torches as well, actually. We need to light up this area. So other things we can do here, we need a bit more wood. We need to excavate around there. I'd like the wood so I can try for some railings along the side of these stairs, just so that I'm a little bit more safe running up and down. And I'm gonna grab, there's some bone from the skeletons. I can get some bone meal and I can use that on the spruce saplings to then make them grow faster. I think we do all of them, I'm not sure. Don't know if it counts or whether we just do one. Takes a fair amount, I think. Looks like it's gonna take up all of our bone meal. That should accelerate things, hopefully, and then our giant spruce will grow up there, hopefully quicker. We'll go and cut down some more over here. Now, I'm not sure how using fences is gonna work in terms of blocking off our area. I'll have to have a look and give it a test. But we can see it now cutting across, but it, it doesn't take too much out of it, but it is definitely a, this is the stairway, which is what I wanted. So here in a straight line is fine. Then we hit there, and then we can't go any higher there, but it'd be nice to have something just off the edge. That's kind of the thing I was thinking of. It doesn't quite connect. I'd want something to connect like that. Maybe from the wood down and then with a torch on top is what I was thinking for a barrier. So when you're coming, coming up and down, when you get to this area, it's like, oh, it's okay. I can still go against there, but I'm not gonna, I can push against it, but I'm not gonna fall off. I don't know if that's gonna take me too far down. I think I need that a little bit higher just so I don't bang into that on the way down. It's kind of, kind of what I wanted. Actually, no, let's go to the top. Let's have a look. How does it look from the top? Go up here, I've got a few torches now, that's good. That all works fine. Then this is, again, we need fences here, definitely, because that's very dangerous there. And then up onto the very, very top. Wow, it's amazing when you just uh, wake up from, from this height. I wouldn't recommend sleeping at the top of a mountain, but there we go, that's what we've got. So we'll need some more, we're gonna wait for the trees to grow. So they're all over there. We could go off and go over to these trees and harvest some more wood if we need it. But whilst we're up here at the top, now I do wanna flatten this off slightly with all this sand we have. We need a bit of a flat area anyway. Probably do with a shovel to do this, but let's take off our cobblestone temporary structure that we had here. We don't need this anymore. I don't want, I want to use, I don't want the tower to be much bigger than the top. I don't want it to spread out into some like really big wide tower that doesn't fit with the the shape of this, this kind of hill structure that we've got. I would rather it be sort of a tall thin tower. I mean that this would be a nice place for another castle. We did talk about maybe making castles and linking them together with bridges. Not sure about that one, but this this over here, we could maybe put another castle down there and there's another hill over there. And then a nice big rope bridge that connects them up would be another project here, certainly. We just need this wide enough at this point so that we can at least build our structure on the tops of our building here. Maybe part of our base with sandstone. 
I come across here thinking about it, then oh, that goes all the way down there. So if we just go out very slightly with the sandstone, so that would be, say, maybe the base of things. That's all the sandstone that we have. We're going to need some, maybe, stone. Do we have any stone that's got andesite? Andesite looks quite interesting in terms of a uh, block. It looks similar to the stone. Let's just intersperse that with something we have, like that, and then throw in some cobblestone with it as well. I am effectively making a sandcastle, <laughs> definitely. So we're looking long and thin at the moment. Pro I do think windows are going to be useful here. Definitely looking at this. We want some nice, maybe some tall, thin windows. Because this is, we would eventually maybe make a floor area that we can go down from. That could also be an option. Just kind of thinking about uh, the structure for the moment, the floor print. Should we have a look at it? The doorway, make a doorway here maybe. And now windows wise, I think, yeah, some, some really tall windows where we can just look out. We want to be able to see our house. We want to be able to see out here. There's no point having a view if you can't see. So if we make actual areas here, I'm just making this up as I go along. There is no, there is no right or wrong. I just want to see how it looks more than anything else. In terms of we'll have a window here, we can see out of a window here, probably, I want more windows than not. So I can do a narrow one right in the middle here. And probably actually thinking about it, torches on this on the outside would be nice maybe either side of the window would be quite good to light that up okay we're it's beginning to look a little bit like something so there's the beginnings of a building certainly you can do something with the floor make that either slabs or something we'll need a bit of sand anyway for that I think, I mean, we've got options we can make this a lot taller as well, in terms of as a tower. I mean, the whole point of it being a tower is that it's going to be tall, so we can see things from here. Some stairs going up. You could maybe go up here and then go up into another level, have a ceiling over there. I mean, I probably want some torches in here anyway. It's not very equal in terms of the window placement, but I kind of like that. That should be all right. So we could do with bringing up our crafting table and our chests perhaps we've got more materials down there just want to have a look how does this look from a distance and with the sun setting that'll be quite good as well right so okay we need some more wood so this is looking this is looking all right from the start our our stairway up a little bit rough and ready at the moment and then the beginnings of our tower i wonder if we can push the tower out a little bit more, because this seems to be weighted more to the left than the right, because we've got this little archway here. I wonder if we could continue the tower out beyond this uh, level. I wonder how that would look, because we are very central on this with our windows and everything. I can see how the asymmetry there means you can't really see through it, but if we went beyond, Beyond here and over there, we could make quite a big building over that side. You don't have enough space between them. Oh, do you think so, real Ginny? I thought they would uh, make a big slab of them, was my thinking. I did give them a whole load of bone meal. But just in case that's the case, I'll take those ones out. Because I know you get the podzel that grows around them, isn't it? We'll, we'll leave that one and see how they grow. So cobblestone into... No, you... Use the furnace to make the cobblestone into stone. And then from the stone, we can make the stone bricks. And from the stone bricks, we can make stone slabs. And we can use the stone slabs to make the floor. That's, that's the process. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we can make some cobblestone walls or something. And then make that into like that. 
and then the cobblestone or something like this. I want to do almost like pillars going down. I don't know how far down we can go from here. Just try like blind from there. Just want to make it look like it's going from one into another and then put cobblestone over the top so it's like a support or something like that. That's my thinking. So this is our extension room from there. I still have a fast asleep dodger. He's going to fall off the bed if he's not too careful. So whilst I'm here and I have the slabs, so I want to make this a nice brick floor, I think should be good. Now, and then that's going to be our corner. And we can have nice big windows here. So we get a lovely view out there, lovely view out there. And I could I make this a little bit bigger, actually. Let's go bigger windows. Well, it looks like uh, one of our trees has grown. <laughs> Look at that over there. That's what we wanted. Thank you, Real Jenny, for the hint on that one. Now we've seen our tree, we can go down and uh, collect that up. All right, let's go grab our tree. Oh, there's a whole load of pillages over there. Uh, hello, pillages. Don't mind me. I am just excavating. This gives me a good view from here, actually. What else have I got nearby? Is that sheep over there, or is that snow? There's a pig. I can see a pig. Pillages are going off. That's good. Leave them to their devices whilst we go through. Right, how are we looking in terms of our house? It's looking okay. We can go higher, definitely. That's definitely an option. So let's go have a look. We still haven't got any cows here. Um, so we've made a huge amount of progress so far. I need to fix this area so it's safer. We'll get our fence posts and things around that. The same with this corner, although that one's not too bad. And with our chest, let's just pop in a whole load of stuff indiscriminately for now. Things we don't need. Got the stone we made out of this. Probably want to stick some uh, glass on. So let's take the sand, that in the furnace. Start that off. Uh, wood wise, uh, where is it? We got our, we got loads of spruce logs. We can make into spruce planks. There we got loads and loads of those. And from there we'll probably make a bunch of sticks as well. And then from there we can make some fences. Lots of fences. Let's get at least a stack, so then we've got plenty of things there. So the sand is starting off on that. We'll make the glass into glass planes. Panes, not planes. Now with this extra window room, we don't have room for a stairway actually. It's, it's lovely to have a view of everything, but we also need a stairway at some point. We're going to have a door in here, I guess. That would be useful. We need a couple of oak doors for that. It's solid. I want one with windows on it, which I think oak is the way to go for that. I do have some down in my house over there, so I'll pick those up next time I'm down there. But whilst we're here, let's just safety first. Let's work on fixing this up. So we used um, our fence posts for this. Right, it's getting dark, so let's just pop our bed down. There we are, that's at least a lot better there. And then let's just pop our bed down for now. And the glass panes we want to pop down all in here so we can at least uh, seal the house. I won't end up falling out the windows, which is also kind of important. I think the next thing on here is definitely building some height into this. Then that's at least contained. Okay, another level done at least. We, got, we can look outside, we can see is that another spruce tree? It does look like we've got a giant spruce that's grown there. I'll we'll have to go back and harvest all that wood. We've got our entrance. We've got our main area here. Then we've got a little viewing area here. And then we're going to make this another level up. We're going to go up from this. We need a staircase at some point. I need to decide where I'm going to put that staircase. We can harvest that. We've got our stairway. Next thing really is level level two on top of this. So in terms of stairs, we could, I don't want to block the view, 
but we've kind of got too many. I could do a spiral staircase, it's not going to be too big. I could kind of block the doorway and have the stairs go up from here. I mean, that would be relatively easy. We've got, some co we've got plenty of cobblestone, so we do have stone and stone brick stairs. So I'm thinking stairs on one side of this and do something like that. And then we can actually get rid of the wood now. So we can still get in here and then we can go from here upstairs and go on to the next level and then just down here using the stone from there. Starting to run low on materials, which is going to be my next interesting thing to do. So we'll have to be a bit judicious with our use of materials. Uh, I might use those stone brick slabs just to break it up a little bit, perhaps. I could probably intersperse that with a few different ones. So level two, do we just go straight up? That could be an option. I want to do something maybe a little bit fancy again. We got, again, windows are good, definitely. Um, we'll probably carry on with the cobblestone. We've got a few more things we haven't picked up from downstairs. So, so we do have a lot of uh, cobblestone. We've got a mix of andesite as well. So maybe we can make our walls with stone, stone, cobblestone, and andesite. Or we could probably do with a few walls as well, actually. Andesite wall, let's grab some of those. Cobblestone walls, let's a couple of those. So level two of Castle Castle Samadan in Samadan land. Uh, thinking a few more structures we can put around here would be interesting. So that's gonna be nice coming up the stairs into a glass window area or something like that. Now I'll I'm interested, we could have a another floor, so we go up to another floor and then have a observational area with little walls and things and crenellations, I think you'd call it. Just making it up, really. We'll see how it looks overall. Once I take a more distant view of it, like that. And we've got a little bit of a different variation there. We could use... We could use something like a cobblestone wall in there and stick a torch on top. That might look okay. Something like that works. And I could do with something similar outside. So you've got the cobblestone there. I want to start building up a little bit outside. Maybe just giving it a bit more structure or something like that is the thinking here. Let's go make some more cobblestone walls. I'll know once I've done the, the next floor up, really. So in terms of stairs up, it would make sense uh, if stairs go up here to then have stairs that go up. So if you want to go all the way up and around, you'd go up from here, maybe. What are we left with here in terms of materials? Well, still got cobbled deep slate, actually. Maybe we could do something nice and dark at the top level. Let's see how the panes of glass would work with the wall area over here. Could I actually put glass in here. Oh, that's interesting. It connects up. Oh, okay. That looks not quite what I was expecting. Okay, stone, stone flooring. Now I'm thinking stone walls around here just to keep it all exposed. And then this is my, my fortress or something like that. Cobblestone walls is probably our best bet at this point. Oh, we we're going to use the deep slate as well. Let's make some deep slate walls just for that extra darkness, I think. Panes we can finish off a little bit more here. So here we go, let's pop a few of the darker ones down here. Should we, yeah, let's top these up. So they go out and in, and then connect that up with some others. Torches, probably everywhere, I would say. Middle's quite good, actually, because that gives me an extra post on there. Run out of torches for this side though. We're covered with walls, which is good. We probably want to do things a little bit higher in places. Build it up. I don't know if we did something like that as a little sort of tower structure, just to give it a bit of shape, perhaps. And we can put torches on the inside is doable like that. That could that could look quite nice. And then up the top. Yeah, I'm quite liking how that's that's looking with the pointy 
pointy area. Let's try this with deep slate as well. The other test will be to see what this looks like from down below once it's all lit up. We're having fun with a little bit of Minecraft open builds at the moment. We have our huge castle in the sky that we've just been building. Some trees we need to cut down, which is going to be useful. We need some more torches for up here. Just needed to finish off this area. All right, let's have a look how this looks from down below. Using our safety stairs. All right, from this view. Oh, yes. That's looking nice. Let's go from our little beachside hut. Today was main, the main mission today was building and creating our castle, which I want to see how it looks from here. Oh, that's definitely a lot more gothic, which is what I was hoping for. And coming out from there a little bit more, I think we could probably afford to go another small tower level higher even. Let's have a look from this side. Yeah, I think we've got more, more um, possibilities there, certainly. And then we can think about an enchanting table and stuff like that. Can you come to say hello? Hold on. Dodgers come up to say hello. Okay, so yeah, castle. Uh, step one, done, I would say. We can definitely, I think, go another tower level up there. You know what I did want to do, actually, thinking about it? I think it's in this one. The glow berries, I think we can plant those. Big drip leaf, I don't know if we can plant those. I did somewhere have a moss block, there it is. A moss box can grow, I believe. What I'm thinking of is to make a little bit of a, a grove, under, under cliff grove or something like that. So this little cave here, I wanted to make a, like a outdoor lush cave. I thought with this moss that I've gotten, maybe we could do something like that. And the glow berries actually light up, which is kind of cool. So we collected these up in the, um, the cave exploration. So here we want a couple of doors, definitely. And then we're gonna have to fill in that over the top. What do we want? A torch either side there. And any more stone pillars. What I want to do is just to accentuate it. So this goes all the way down there. We've got some water and things like that. But I wanted to put something, some moss in the ceiling and grow some glow berries down there. I really don't know if it's possible, but I wanted to give it a go. So we're at the ceiling level. So what I want to do is just place these moss box in. I don't know how much they spread, but they do. Now, can I plant glow berries on here? I can. Like that. Can I plant them on? I guess I can. Oh, I can plant them on stone as well. I want those will eventually grow downwards, is the plan with those. Whilst I'm here, I'm not sure if these will work. I don't know if I can plant those in here anywhere, like across into the sand maybe, uh, lily pads, can pop them in the water. Just wanna let it all sort of uh, grow up a bit naturally, is the thinking here. There we have it, that's our little area there. Now I'm hoping over time this will grow and we'll get more moss and more uh, glow berries just dropping down from here. So this is the swamp area. There's our castle, right up the top there. With our, that actually looks quite nice with the, with the stairs going around it. That's gonna be quite a nice view at night time, I think. And then we can also see what this looks like lit up from night time, which is pretty awesome, actually. I'm liking that castle in the sky at night. That is our building for today with the glow berries, which are, I think even now they're dropping down already. So once we get some glow berries on there, that's gonna look fantastic. There's our castle. Not bad for an evening's work, I would say. One lit up castle, ready for 
another adventure. What we do next is plenty of opportunities and things we can do. Uh, we can make that our new base, we can extend this further, make it another tall tower. As I mentioned, we can go across onto different things as well. Uh, once this starts glowing with glowberries and it makes a nice little lush cave in that section, I think that's going to look lovely. We can probably think about getting an enchanting table, putting that up there. We want to explore over this area somewhere and find some cows and put them in our pen that we've already prepared over here. So there's a load of different things we can do. Uh, definitely need another layer tower yet. Yeah, I think so. I think we could go, we can definitely go taller. We don't need to go the full width though. We can just go up in a tower, maybe another sort of one, two stories or something like that would look quite nice. But I think for me, um, we are done for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. At, until next time. Happy gold making or um, happy Minecrafting, whatever you're doing in the world. Have fun, be safe, be well, and I'll see you very soon.